External bleeding is when blood is leaving the body through some type of wound. Uh, an incident in which you physically saw blood would be an external bleeding. External bleeding happens when blood exits through a break in the skin. Blood loss from the bleeding tissue can also be apparent when blood exits through a natural opening in the body, such as the mouth. So before treating a wound, uh, if available, put on disposable gloves. Look at the wound to ensure there is no foreign object. So if there is any foreign object, do don't remove it and apply a direct pressure over the wound with the sterile or clean pad. Raise and support the injured part above the level of the heart if possible. Apply a dressing and a firm bandage to hold the pad in place and re recess uh, circulation uh, every 20 to 30 minutes. Types of bleeding include the capillary bleeding in which the blood flow is slow and even, which is also the bright red in color. And the venous, it will be the uh, slow and steady, uh, but the blood is dark red in color. In arterial bleeding, it will be the uh, pulsating flow and the blood will be sprouting. Also, the color will be bright red in color. First of all, call an ambulance and uh, see if the person is in shock. And uh, ma'am, are you okay? Uh, okay. Next, uh, see if there is uh, any object on the stuck on the wound and uh, raise it above uh, the level of the heart. Okay. So, uh, 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 so we can see that there is no object stuck. If the object is stuck, don't try to pull it out or don't try to push it uh, or apply pressure on the object as it may further cause an uh, arteries or vein bleeding. Okay, so uh, uh, now uh, there is no such object, so we can apply directly the pressure and uh, wear uh, gloves before uh, touching the wound. So we will apply the pressure with a clean pad and uh, uh, if uh, the patient is able to apply the pressure herself, ask uh, if she can apply and if you can uh, hold it like here. So, uh, and I, I will apply the bandage. make sure the bandage is not too tight and uh, for that uh, check the capillary refill time for uh, each of the uh, fingers so that the blood is uh, flowing normally. So we will apply pressure on the tip of the uh, finger and uh, then release it and we will do it for uh, this for each of the finger. So the blood is flowing normally, if it is not then uh, adjust the bandage accordingly and uh, uh wait for uh, the ambulance uh, by the patient's side uh, and try to comfort her as uh, she may be in shock. Uh, so I am here with you until the ambulance.